Well, thanks for having me here in Venice at Palazzo Bambo. Uh, first of all, I would like to tell you and the audience that uh, I am representing my father and uh, he is the talented artist of this uh, and the creator of this uh, painting called uh, The Warring of Time. Uh, he couldn't come, unfortunately, but uh, I am here to present his uh, tremendous talent. Uh, I am going to talk about his artistic view uh, and um, a little bit about this uh, painting. Uh, he has a great quotation and is the following to decompose the miracles of the nature and uh, recompose by rethinking. I think uh, this uh, line perfectly describes his uh, latest paintings uh, because he likes to depict um, everyday things uh, but in a totally different way. Uh, you know, instrumental music has a particular and great impact on him, uh, especially Andreas Wollenweider, harpist, uh, Enigma, uh, Mike Whitefield, Pink Floyd. Um, his artistic uh, sources are mainly from the four elements, mythological and uh, science fiction, science fiction uh, themes. Uh, some other specific future features will be some uh, soft eroticism, the love of nature, animals and the special representation of the water world. His uh, most recent paintings are related to the fascinating topic of uh, surrealism, as you can see. And uh, the primary purpose of uh, his art is to, to bring a little fire or bring a little warmth into the people's hearts and to, and to uh, 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 make, uh, show, the, show the world as he sees it. Uh, he, has, um, he has always been attracted to the magical world of the extraordinary and the unusual. Um, and, but he also fancies uh, with painting landscapes, but he rec recently he is obsessed with surrealism um, because it has no boundaries, and, uh, which, which helps him to create uh, and depict his widest ideas coming to his mind. And his motivation, I would say, is boundless because uh, crea creation gives him confidence, hope, liberation from the world's madness, um, joy and freedom as well. Uh, he learned from great Hungarian masters who believed in him and nurtured his uh, artistic path in his youth and uh, their legacy lives in him. Uh, and this is another key de determinant or um, key motivation for the everyday creation. He usually uh, depicts um, um, the big questions of life, impermanence, uh, woman and man relation, beauty and uh, the mix of these. And uh, his audience is wide irrespective of someone's nationality, skin color, gender, so everybody is welcome. And um, his vision is the decomposition of the beauty of our world and uh, the recomposition uh, by rethinking. Uh, and the painting, the painting is a devouring of time. Uh, aim is to um, depict or show the irreversible nature of time that uh, embraces uh, everything in our world. And uh, the life we live is, I would say, ephemeral and um, it's brutally ticking away. Uh, as we can see, uh, the apple started to turn into brown, which is an indicator of uh, uh, impermanence as well. And um, in the middle of the painting, we can see a clock face that also implies to time passing. And uh, I wanted to raise a really good quotation uh, that is not from my father, but uh, I wanted to raise it uh, in this respect because it perfectly fits into this topic. Um, Time is the result of the expansion of the universe, and uh, time did not exist before the Big Bang. Um, but what will happen when the un universe uh, has finished expanding and the movement is reserved? What will be the nature of time? Uh, everything is so surreal in our life, and um, um, in the beginning, all the dimensions were twisted together and uh, one temporal dimension that we know as uh, height, width and depth and uh, one temporal uh, dimensions that we know as time were deployed and the other six uh, remained infinitesimal and uh, if we live in a universe with wounded dimensions uh, how could we distinguish uh, illusion and reality? 
and uh, to boil it down to, or to sum it up, uh, his advice is to enjoy life, uh, be prolific, always ask and be curious, and um, the, go the good things don't last forever, neither do bad things. Thanks.